housekeeper made this coconut ice cream homemade or popsicles. I'm going to have them right now. Good afternoon. It's Friday today. I am attempting to post a vlog for you as promised. How are you? I hope everybody is doing well, even though I don't hear from anyone on my posts or videos. No comments whatsoever. <laughs> it's all right. Everybody is busy, right? I'm just keeping on posting and pretend like there's like 1 million subscribers out there watching my videos. Yay! Why not? <laughs> So, um, okay, for today, let's uh, talk about memoirs of Italy. Anecdote by anecdote, all right? So, first anecdote. I am going back to the beginning of my chapter of life with an Italian man, husband, and living in his country and his city, Milan. So what I can only um, drum up with, all right? It's not like I wrote or I prepared already or I put it point by point. Let's just make it natural, like whatever that I remember from that Epoca. Epoca in Italian means that period of time. So what comes to mind? Let's see. Okay, so he took me around Italy. The first place he took me was... Uh, oh my god, I don't recall. He started taking me to Lake Garda. And then, yes. And then <clears throat> while we were sitting there in the uh, alfresco, which means open air restaurant, just the two of us by this lake. And there was another table that was also uh, occupied by a couple, but I think they were like German couple. And uh, well, okay, just to make this uh, uh, funny anecdote um, get its point is those two were rather robust looking. <laughs> so anyway, so my husband and I at that time, he was my boyfriend, we were sitting there across them, but they were by the lakeside, we were against the restaurant. Uh, but in between there's this uh, you know path where people pass by and uh, so happened there was this Italian man passing by and overhearing these two fat Germans sorry I have to refer using that word because it's uh, you know it's uh, uh, um, important to mention for the joke so 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 this italian man was passing by and he overheard these two two big people ordered dessert and the dessert is called tiramisu like everyone now knows in this world by now right the italian dessert called tiramisu but not everyone understand what it really means <clears throat> by the word of it okay so tira means pull me me su up so liter literally it means pull me up the name of the dessert so this italian man that was passing <laughs> looked at us <laughs> and said to us Referring to these two fat people ordering tiramisu, pull me up dessert. And just quip jokingly looking at us and say, well, 
it would need a crane to lift them up, doesn't it? <laughs> understand the first until my husband explained it to me because at that time I didn't understand Italian so that's one anecdote okay <laughs> so the, okay another anecdote is when we were in Rome and was my first time you know my husband was showing off Ital Italy you know he, he wanted me to love Italy as if he needed the the effort <laughs> But yes, I must confess, I have never been a person who is uh, passionate about who I would like to go to Italy or I would like to live in Italy or I would like to have a holiday in Italy or I would like to marry an Italian man. I never had that kind of uh, interest or nor passion. How funny is yes, life, you know, I never had that, 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 uh, you know, um, fiery, uh, desire to have anything to do with Italy. So anyway, so we were in the in the in the in Sicily. Sorry, not in Rome, in Sicily, because he took me around also in Sicily, and he, you know, he didn't present me with a, an engagement ring, and yet I was only two months there. Not even two months, actually, it was one month. And he took me to Sicily and then he took me in front of this jewelry shop and he said, look, I like that ring over there. And I'm so naive, you know, I've always been naive. So I said, oh, okay. So he just said to me, he instructed to me, he said, go in there and tell them. I went outside, he said, go in there, there and tell them I would like to see that ring but please use Italian language because they don't speak English so I already understand a few words because my dearest husband had already written you know like a like a like a little note to teach me Italian so to go shopping you know so and so in Italian to for a, to ask for beef in supermarket so and so 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 happened also is he he taught me what this word means like ring things like that so I went in there and then little did I know I was asking them for a lamp instead of ring why because in Italian ring is an nello anello but the lamp is Agnello and I asked for Agnello when I went to the inside of this jewelry shop. So of course they were a little bit puzzled but laughed in the end because my husband could understand already what was happening and he went in and he was laughing away you know and he bought me the ring. <laughs> it was emerald with gold. Uh, emerald sorry it was um what is it? Mm, ruby. But then I didn't like it so much. So he said, which one do you prefer? <laughs> so I said, that one. So he bought me instead the, the mm, uh, dark blue sapphire with diamonds, just like, you know, that Princess Diana's uh, engagement ring, but of course, mini version, <laughs> of course. So he bought that for me instead of that red uh, ruby. Uh, it's funny, you know, it's so funny. So those are the two anecdotes that I could give you for my Friday vlog. Okay, see you on Sunday.